Okay, so how to sew the U. Again, make sure that you start it at the, at the um, seam and you pin that flat. Make sure the bottom is flat too. You don't want that to be turned in and not open. Make sure those match up first. Then go up one side, pinning every four inches, bringing the top and the bottom together. Same thing on the other side. You should have your three notches matching up on one side and your two notches matching up on the other side. Now this is the tricky part where you where people have oftentimes just sewed sewn all of this together and it's a big huge mess if you do that. So if you don't know what you're doing, put your name on the board and patiently wait. I promise you it'll be less stressful and you'll spend less time waiting and doing it right than doing it and it's a huge mess and you have to rip it all out. Okay? So what you're going to do, everyone sees sees that the U is right in front of me. Start on the left hand side of the U, okay? So I'm gonna pick up this left hand corner and I'm gonna lay it like this, okay? The top is not gonna be even, that's the waist. We have, we're gonna do that on um, either tomorrow or Monday. We'll see how far we get, okay? I'm letting each class go at their own pace right now. So the majority where they're at, we're going. That way my morning classes seem to get it better than my afternoon classes. So we're just gonna go with it like that. So. I have put the left hand side in there. The hard part of doing this is when we come down to sew the U because we have all this bulk. So watch what I'm doing. Everybody knows how to start. We're gonna start it like we always have. Barely catch the material with your presser foot. You're gonna go about an inch, stop, back stitch all the way. And then we know to stay on the tape by now, right? I hope so. So we're gonna stay on the tape. The whole time you're going to have to be rearranging this and making sure that you're only sewing these two pieces together and this doesn't bulk up under there and you sew it together. So take your time, ensure that it's flat down here, make sure there's no more bulk and you're just going to sew this entire straight part coming across my little triangles there. I know I did that correctly. Now you'll have about 10 inches of just sewing straight and then it gets complicated. So now I'm starting to curve in my U. It's getting a little complicated. You're gonna to have to stop often and reposition this material to pull it around to finish that U. Making sure that it's not bulked up over here or under here. So I've turned it. Now I'm making sure it's not bulked up. Now I have to actually curve when I sew. So staying on this tape is gonna be very important. You have to go very slow and be very cautious. So you see how I'm turning I'm pulling the material this way. I'm constantly stopping, pulling more material, making sure it's not doubled up or bulky under there. So I'm just sewing the two pieces together. So do you see how it's kind of a mess and you have to be very aware? Now I'm coming to one of the big parts of your braid is right here in the middle of the U. I'm gonna take my pin out carefully I haven't gotten to the point of sewing yet. I'm gonna peek underneath and make sure that that seam is open. Carefully lay it back down. You have to make sure whenever you sew over these seams that they're open. So I'm gonna have to kind of hold this down and go slow so I can make sure that it stays open. A lot of times the top one will stay open and the bottom one somehow will flip close. So just make sure that both are open and both are open. I've checked it twice now. And if it looks like it's starting to close, then just stop and open it up. Okay, so I got through that part of it. And I'm still in the U, I'm still turning. And you're gonna continue to turn and just moving your material and turning. All the material was in front of me in my lap. Now look where it is. It's almost all behind the machine. So you're gonna have to constantly pull it up, flatten it, make sure there's no bulk. And so, and then once you get out of that U, that last 10 inches is going all the way to the top. And then what do we do at the end? Backstitch. Backstitch. And then you're done. And if you want to pull them, if, uh, if you want to see what it looks like, um, take the leg, when you get done and pull it from the machine, take the leg and pull it back out. And you can turn them right side out if you want to, and you can actually put them on. They're going to be huge because we still have to do our waist. We still have to hem them at the bottom, but the legs are, are quite generous. Um, so you can be comfy, I guess. But you can actually try them on and see that you have a pair of pants. If you're done, if you finish this successfully, um, 
put up and help somebody because there's going to probably be a lot that need help. Okay?